If someone told me about the carnivore diet when I was 20, I probably wouldn't have paid attention. I felt great eating anything back then. It's no accident many of us who come to the proper human diet are older and a little wiser. We've been through life and we know what works and what doesn't work. We're ready to hear the truth. Hello, friends. It's the Carnivore Rabbi. A rabbi is a teacher and source of inspiration. And that's what this channel does for carnivores of all faiths. Welcome. We know that carnivore changes our worldview, the way we look at truth. And it's not just about nutrition. Once we see we've been misled about the proper foods to eat, we see how so many institutions mislead us about so much more. And often the truth is the opposite of what conventional wisdom says. Now, I thought about this recently when I studied a 2,000-year-old Jewish text. It comes from a book called the Talmud. The Talmud is a series of commentaries on the Bible. Now, the Jewish sages, the great rabbis, developed the Talmud over hundreds of years. It was orally transmitted, but then eventually written down. Some of the most famous parts of the Talmud include, if I am not for myself, who will be for me? But if I am only for myself, what am I? If not now, when? That's one of my favorites. But here's the obscure text I recently studied. I'm going to read it for you. Rabbi Joseph, son of Rabbi Joshua, became ill and was about to die. But when he returned to good health, his father said to him, What did you see? When you were about to die, Joseph said to his father, I saw a world that was upside down. Those on the top were on the bottom, and those on the bottom were on the top. Rabbi Joshua then said to his son, My son, you have seen a clear world. Okay, this is a little mysterious, isn't it? So this famous rabbi has a near-death experience. When he comes to, when he survives, and he looks up, his father says to him, what did you see when you almost died? And Rabbi Joshua replies, the world was upside down. Everything I thought was true was the opposite. Then his wise father said, you have seen the truth. It's mystical. It's mysterious. It's a little confusing, though, too. If the rabbi who almost died is so wise, why does he have to have a near-death experience to see the truth? And if his father is so wise, why hadn't he told his son the real truth earlier? But I think we have some clear and helpful answers to these questions. And stay with me. They'll help us really understand the carnivore way of eating. First question. Why does he have to be near death to see the truth? Sometimes the truth only comes in a time of crisis. We need to suffer sometimes to see reality. I did a great interview yesterday with a spiritual teacher and carnivore named Aga. That'll come out soon. She had a really awful post-COVID and root canal experience. And before that, she had been vegan for 14 years. The health and mental crisis she went through after COVID led to dramatic health changes and her embracing the carnivore diet that has brought her to a new stage of clarity and joy. What had once seemed the truth, the vegan diet, turned out to be upside down. And sometimes that's what it takes. It's sad, but true. It's just a necessary, it's a part of human nature that people often change more out of desperation than inspiration. And then, once that change has happened, inspiration can lead us further. Now the other big question. Why hadn't Rabbi Joshua's wise father told him the truth before his near-death experience? Have you ever heard that saying, when the student is ready, the teacher appears? Sometimes we are not ready to hear the truth. If someone told me about the carnivore diet when I was 20, 
I probably wouldn't have paid attention. I felt great eating anything back then. It's no accident. Many of us who come to the proper human diet are older and a little wiser. We've been through life. And we know what works and what doesn't work. We're ready to hear the truth. You remember that old Mark Twain quip? When I was 18, he said, my father was so ignorant, I could hardly stand to have the old man around. But when I got to be 25, I was astonished at how much he had learned in seven years. Isn't that the way the world works? We hear the truth. We understand reality when we are ready to hear it. Now, the carnivore diet is so countercultural today that we have to have the self-confidence and the clarity to hear it, to appreciate it, to embrace it. And that's why this story about Rabbi Joshua appealed to me. When we get the carnivore message, we see that we see how modern nutrition has turned the world upside down. And that the truth is essentially the opposite of what we're taught. Here are a few examples. We are taught saturated fat is bad for us. It causes plaque and leads to heart disease. Meanwhile, saturated fat is essential. The truth is it fills us up and gives us energy. And you know what? Even the so-called scientists are starting to admit they were totally wrong about saturated fat. A few years ago, the Journal of the American Cartage of Car- Cardiology, very prestigious journal, published a white paper titled Saturated Fats and Health, a Reassessment and Proposal for Food-Based Recommendations. And according to this article, quote, the recommendation to limit dietary sat- saturated fatty acid intake has persisted despite mounting evidence to the contrary. Most recent meta-analyses of randomized trials and observation studies found no beneficial effects of reducing saturated fat intake on cardiovascular disease and total mortality, and instead found protective effects against stroke. Can you believe that? Protective effects. The opposite of what we were taught. Although saturated fats increase low-density lipoprotein, that's LDL cholesterol, In most individuals, this is not due to increasing levels of small, dense LDL particles, the so-called bad ones, which are not really bad, but rather larger LDL, which are much less strongly related to cardiovascular disease risk. This is the conventional scientist. It is also apparent that the health effects of foods cannot be predicted by their content in any nutrient group without considering the overall macronutrient distribution. Whole fat dairy, unprocessed meat, eggs, and dark chocolates are saturated fat-rich foods with a complex matrix that are not associated with increased risk of cardiovascular disease. The totality of available evidence does not support further limiting the intake of such foods. Why didn't we see this more of this in the news? This was the most prestigious cardiologist organization. We saw nothing of this. You have to do research to get it. In layman's terms, what we just learned is that saturated fats aren't the cause of cardiovascular disease. In fact, they can prevent strokes. And we know they do much more than that. Another opposite truth, the cholesterol myth. I've talked about this so many times. See my video on the cholesterol calm. And so have many carnivore doctors. Statins are a scam. Cholesterol reduces stress and helps us live longer. It has nothing to do with heart disease. In fact, we need more cholesterol. Low cholesterol is associated, in fact, with psychotic episodes. I'm not a doctor, and this is not medical advice at all. But it seems that fear over high cholesterol has fueled billion-dollar profits for pharmaceutical companies at the expense of our health and our happiness. A third opposite truth. We should eat mostly plants. Remember that book by that famous Andrew Weil? I think it's called Eat Food, Not Too Much, mostly plants. The opposite is true. Plants are not food. You should eat until you're full and eat lots of fat. There are many more opposite truths. But even 2,000 years ago, the Jewish sages, these spiritual guides, knew the truth 
was often the opposite of what it seems. And we'll continue to see that as we embrace this extraordinary way of eating.